How to get a research resource identifier when a cell line is not yet in Cellosaurus. You are preparing a manuscript for publication, and you need the research resource identifier or RRID to reference your cell line. Unfortunately, you cannot find it either in the Resource Identifier Initiative portal or in the Cellosaurus. Before contacting us, please make sure that your cell line is in the scope of Cellosaurus. Primary cells are not cell lines and not in the scope of Cellosaurus. Plant cell lines and xenografts are not yet included in Cellosaurus. To get your RRID, you will have to submit your cell line for integration in Cellosaurus. If the cell line you are submitting has been previously described, please send us the reference of the publication, PubMed ID or DOI. If the cell line you are submitting will be described in a future publication, please send us the information that you will include in the publication or send us a preprint of your paper. For your submission, you may indicate the correct name of your cell line, the species of origin, the sex and age of the donor, and the tissue or organ of origin. Do not hesitate to include as much relevant information as possible. The STR profile of the cell line is not mandatory for submission. However, we strongly encourage you to include it. It is indeed the recommended method to make sure the cell line is not cross-contaminated. You can submit your cell line by email at cellosaurus at sib.swiss or by clicking the contact button on the Cellosaurus website. We will create a Cellosaurus preliminary entry with the information you provided and we will send it to you as quickly as possible. The Cellosaurus Accession or AC is identical to the Research Resource Identifier. Cellosaurus is updated every three to four months. Thus, depending on when a new RRID was created it can take up to four months before you can find it in the Cellosaurus on Xpasi. However, you can use the RRID of your preliminary entry, even if this entry is not yet available in Cellosaurus.